Now, just to get started, how long ago was your accident? Ooh, okay. How so, long ago? How long have you been in a wheelchair? I've been in a wheelchair 10 years. 10 years. Well, not exactly 10 years, but it'd be 10 years in, let me see, we're in June. It'd be 10 years in three months. 10 years in three months. Now, ten does it feel months. like 10 years? You want to know what? It does. It does feel it like does. 10 years? It does. It does. Um, or do you feel like time flew by and you're like, dang, 10 years? It doesn't seem like 10 years. Time definitely flew by. Time definitely flew by, but it does feel like it was 10 years, though. Uh, I don't really know how I can you know, better explain that, but, mm-hmm. you know, f- I feel like for a long time I was kind of, I was kind of just letting the days go past me until I realized so much time had went past. To where I was just like, you know what, man? Like, it, it can't be worse than this. Once it happened and I pulled a trigger, the the sound is so loud that my ears are just ringing now. So I'm just like, ah, because I didn't expect the gun to go off. So once that happened, mm-hmm. I turned the music off real fast. And then once I turned the music off, I turned around. So I turned around to go see, because I thought that I shot my seat, right? Like, mm-hmm. that's how fast it happened. I thought that I shot my seat, so I went to go turn around to go check my seat. And then right when I turned back around from checking my seat like this, because I went like this, because I'm driving like this, I went like that. Yeah. And once I come back around like that, I lose my breath. And it's like, I, I like, it was like, I, I guess I just lost like all, like, like feeling in my body at that moment. And my head just dropped down. And then once it dropped down, I see this hole in my uniform. And then right when I see the hole in my uniform, it's like I'm trying to breathe. And then now I, I, I literally can't breathe. That's crazy. Yeah. So That's it was tough. Crazy. Mm-hmm. Now, looking back, I guess, within that time and moment that you were in, mm-hmm. would you tell yourself, man, I wish I could have just talked to my dad about it? Or, man, I wish I could have just talked to my mom about it. Let me, yeah. you know, so maybe they could have kind of help me clear my head or make me feel like there's no there's no reason for me thinking that this is the end of all um would you tell yourself anything or would you kind of change anything in that moment in time yeah i wish i would have really talked to my dad um like i said it just really wasn't anything that like i don't know i guess like me and him really ever talked about so I don't know It's just like I didn't know how to Even if I did I didn't know how to Yeah You know I'm a young man Like I, I was like 22 So I didn't know how to vent I feel like I'm still trying to learn. I'm, <clears throat> I feel like I'm still trying to learn how to vent yeah. You know I'm 31 now Like I'll be 32 now, And I feel like I still don't 100% know how to vent Life is, you know, life experiences make you just, it kind of puts you in a shock sometimes where you don't even yeah. know how to even bring up a conversation mm-hmm. to your own parents to where yeah. you're like, damn, like I'm really going through this life. Yeah. This thing called life, you know, exactly. and it's, it's hard to really talk about it. So I could understand and then not being around anybody. Mm-hmm. Um, but sometimes your, your family is literally always going to be there no matter what you are going through yeah so if i this right here is for anyone out there if you feel like you have nobody to talk to literally your closest friends your family those are the people you should really go to and talk to it's okay like you know life is life everybody goes through something so Mm -hmm. don't take that for granted 